before we do anything, I just want to say I got nothing against Chinese people at all. In fact, most of the best people I've ever met were Chinese or Asians in general, actually. So if you want to know what this screenshot's about and, or the thumbnail, you would just have to watch the video. Just real quick, guys, before we start, I just wanted to say sorry for everyone supporting this channel for what I said like in a couple of videos ago where I was talking about my situation and stuff and I talked about how much I was earning. And when I, I kind of like, I watched that again and I felt really bad. Like I shouldn't even talk like that. It's at this stage, I shouldn't even, I should be happy to be making anything really, you know? And when I said 15 cents an hour, that's probably the average over the whole thing. If I look at it recently, it's probably closer to like a dollar an hour. And that might sound like not much, but if you think about it, at this stage, that would be pretty good. Like by the time I had like 5,000 subs, I'd be making 10 bucks an hour. So it'd be like a job. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I felt really bad about saying that, guys. And I want to give a quick shout out to all you guys who are supporting this channel. Trevor Mays, Echo, Lewis Wirt, Sanic, me you see on my EUC, Sensei Vegan. And there's another shout out, but he wants to remain anonymous. And this guy has helped tremendously with the legal stuff. And yeah, that's like big shout out to him. And guys, if you want to help support the channel, that's my donation link. And I will appreciate any kind of support with this because this is like a hobby, but it's becoming a job, you know, like I do it basically full time. So let's begin the video, guys. Previously. Snake. <laughs> What the hell? What kind of sign is that, guys? So, you see one snake, and then you gotta put up a sign like that. One single snake. See, it doesn't say snakes, just one. Who knows when? It doesn't even say when. It could have been in the 50s. Well, I did some research and word has it, this snake was spotted in 1946 by a small blind kid and the snake is still alive apparently. It's still around and it's developed a taste for EUC tyres. It could have been what popped my tyre. When EUCs came out in 2015, the snake actually doubled in size, believe it or not. When the Monster Pro came out, it tripled in size. And it's become a real problem out here. We've got to put up more signs, basically. Oh, it looks like we've got a snake. And with these types of snakes, the slime won't work. The snake would just suck that slime right out. What the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, what a way to start the day. Again, what am I doing, guys? What? Man, that was fucking weird. Oh, guys. Guys, it's a flat. We got a flat. <clears throat> you won't believe what just happened, guys. I was... All I was going to have to do is put some slime in the tyre and it would have probably been fixed. There's this stuff called Never Flat, and there's a bike shop down the road. I can just go grab a bottle of that. And that's all it would need. It's just, it's like pumping air in the tire. You just pump this liquid in there and it would be fixed, right? And then when I went to turn this on, see it's on this stand, right? Like, this stand, these are good stands too, by the way. I'll talk about them soon. You can just 3D print them, but the stand lets the wheel like stand on it while it's on and it will like self balance. But because the tube was loose in there, it just started spinning the rim and now I can't find the tube. Like I'm going to have to take this thing apart now where I would have just been able to, you know, do this in two seconds. Now I'm going to have to take the whole wheel apart. I've never like taking the Sherman apart 
So I'm just gonna wing it, guys. I don't know. We'll see how we go. This sucks. I can't believe my luck. For just from memory, you don't need to take the pedals off on this. I don't know. Let's see. No big deal if you have to. Oh, there's one more screw here. Looks like you don't need to take them off. Or maybe you do actually. Oh, no, you don't. Look at that. Hmm. This is freaking... This sucks. Maybe, you know what I'll do, guys? I'm going to take it into the bike shop and see if they can just find the tube for me. Maybe they've got some better tools to, like, try and find it without having to take this whole thing apart. You know what I mean? Because, like, I've just got these little tire levers and you can't really, there's not enough access. But maybe they can find the tube. Because if we can just slip the tube back through the hole, we won't need to do all this. Because, look, I'm just, like, I can't be bothered doing all this. It's not that much. I think you just take the batteries out, disassemble the trolley, and... That's probably it. Then maybe you have to take the main board out too. Who knows? I haven't looked at any tutorials for taking this thing apart, so... Yeah, it's a bit, like, daunting to just do this. So that's the batteries, huh? I never... This is the first time I looked in this thing. This is what I'm going to do actually guys. I'm going to open this box because this has got the new stuff I ordered. I told you in the last video. It, sh it should have the 16X mainboard and uh, I also ordered a new Sherman tire. The Kenda Nobby tire. If they also sent a new tube, which I don't know if they did because I didn't order one. I don't know if it like comes with a tube when you order a tire, but if it's there then I will disassemble the Sherman and I'll replace the tube and the tire. If it's not there, I'm just going to take the Sherman to a bike shop and see if they can feed or like find the the valve on the tube that's in there. Because, um, well, if there is a new tube in here, then it's worth just like replacing the tube, I reckon. And I'll put slime in it anyway. But if there's no tube in here, then there's no point, like, doing everything, you know, all that work to access the tube if I can't even replace it. See, look, there's the tire. This should be the main board, I reckon. It looks like I don't have a new tube, guys. Well, look, I can't wait to put that on. The tire that's on there right now, it's still got a fair bit of tread left, so I reckon it's still got like 5,000 kilometers left. And it's already got um, 6,000 kilometers on the clock. Looks like I didn't get a tube, guys, so looks like I will be taking it to the bike shop. Let's open this. Maybe, I doubt the tube is in here. No, it's not. Alright, so I didn't get a tube. That sucks. Maybe I can buy a tube at the motorbike shop though. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. 20 inch tire. But look, that's the new 16X mainboard. That's cool. There it is. I won't open it yet, but... 
we'll do that soon as well. Fix up that 16x. That's been a long time just sitting there. That's the beauty about electric vehicles, though. You don't have to like keep running them. Unlike you know, with a gasoline vehicle, if you leave it just sitting there for like even a few months, it's gonna have some trouble. Especially if it's like a year, two years, you could like. You might even need to rebuild it or something. With an electric vehicle, you could leave it sitting for like five, ten years, and then it will just take off like nothing. Like. That could make no difference. Alright, let's go to the bike shop. Change of plan. I'm gonna have to... What I did, I just like... Kept looking myself, like to see if I could find the valve. And I, I think I found where it was and it's not there anymore. There's just a hole in the tube. So it looks like my tube is gone. Like I need a new tube. And I don't have one. Like you saw, I didn't get one in the box. So I'm gonna have to order one and until then I can't use this thing. Maybe I can find one in a motorbike shop though. That's what I'm hoping. So let's... We have to take this thing apart now guys. And I looked at a video, I looked at a couple of videos. One by D and one by Shane's Planet. And it looks like it's not that hard to take the the wheel out, like the motor and the rim. So is this one of the screws? There's the other one, the worm screws. And then they should just come out, I guess. Oh no, yeah, you need to tap out the thingy yeah so one pedal yeah, I'll take the other pedal out now <sighs> come on there we go at the torque on it, the lever arm. Torque equals force times distance. So the longer the lever arm, that's the distance, the more torque. That's why it's in pound feet or newton meters. You know, one pound times one foot. So apply one pound at one foot away, a uh, one foot lever arm, and you got one pound foot of torque. There we go. I just said that because I had to use the lever arm here. See, I was using that lever arm, that short one, and it was too hard. Then I used the long one. It was very easy. All right, so we got those out. Oh, I need to tap this out. That piece. And now we'll take the... Oh, man, maybe I should... Yeah, I'll just take this off first. Sure, they're in a safe place. What's that? Just pieces broke off somewhere. I don't know where that come from. I don't know. It doesn't look that important, does it? It's not going to be the difference between life and death, is it? Alright, so now the other side. And the lesson learned is when you get a flat tire, don't turn it on while it's on the stand. Because then you have to do all this crap. Guys, like all I would have had to do is put some slime in there. Literally just one minute job this is oh man it's oh.
There we go. So I think I should disconnect the battery first before doing anything else. Let's do that. So battery is disconnected, it looks like. Actually, I'm going to mark everything. I'm going to get a pen. Just got a pen here, or a texter. I'll mark this. Just so you can see, those are the battery connections. Oh, you'll see it more clearly in a sec, once I open the top bit. But I'm just marking them... Just so I don't have to like, struggle later trying to remember what's what. Let's see what happens when you turn it on now. It should just do like... Oh, actually... Yeah. There we go, that was the residual power, see? Alright. So now I can disconnect this screen. There we go. Alright, screen disconnected. Just to hold it up there. Save me from having to take this handle apart. Oh, this will give me some practice for like... When I need to replace that top screen cover. You know I lost that button. Remember how I lost this button here? Soon I'll need to... Replace this top cover, so now I know how... Well, it's pretty easy, isn't it? It's just a few screws. Alright. Now... I believe... So I'll take that out. I believe the next step is to... Hmm... Yeah, I believe the next step, guys, is to take the screws out of the the roll bar. So I have to take this off here. Oh no, the battery just freaking popped out of position there. So the screws here. There's two there and two on the other side, but I think on the other side one of them is missing. So, let's get these out. And I think that's it. I reckon the roll bar's come out now. Somehow. I don't know. Let me... To grab like a hammer. Oh, here's one. A rubber one. So I'm going to mark these. Because those need to come out. Two. Three and four. And I think that's it. Just those four need to come out. And on the other side you can see... Yeah, one, two, three, four. That connect into the motor. And then I'll be able to remove the motor. All right. <sighs> Sucks. Oops. Look at that, I just like scraped that. 
with a hammer. What the? Come on. So it's coming. Yeah. That side is. This side isn't. Yes. Okay. Done. All right. So do the back one now. And I won't need to take my speaker off because it can all just come out as one piece from what I've seen. up they're all like twisted and bent see the front especially see that all right so now supposedly I can remove this motor Hi, I'm just after a tube for a 20 inch dirt bike tire. It's a Kendo brand. No, we've got 19s or 21s. Oh, okay. Um, can I bring it in and like maybe you can? Because I don't know if it's exactly 20 inch. Right. About, about 20 bucks anyway. We've got them here. All right, I'll just bring the tire in and like see if it, yeah. if it will suit. Easy. All right, cool. Oh, Thanks, good. man. It's just not normal around here sometimes you see like lots of them in one day whereas before you would see one per week i decided to split it up into two episodes guys so we're going to end it here and to conclude just what's happened basically i i'm on my way to get a new tube because my old tube got shredded when the rim spun up with the flat tire because it just spun like out of sync with the tire you know Rip the tube out or rip the valve out so I can't just put slime in it. I gotta go buy a new tube and I've got a new tire too, so we're gonna fit them both. And just so you know, all this happens in one day, but I'm gonna have to split it up into probably hopefully two episodes. And the screenshot you saw that's coming up in the next one, so if you're wondering what that's about. That's going to be the next one. Originally, I was going to make it on one video, but I decided it would be better to split it. Alright, guys. See you then.